Hey everybody, Cordell Green here with Diamond Training. So what I'm gonna talk about is how to dive back properly to the base. So, see I get my lead right, pitcher picks off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one step and I'm gonna dive back to the back part of the base. Now why I slowed it down is so you can see where my hand is. So obviously when we dive back, our right hand is gonna be on the back part of the base. So it's farthest for him to have to tag. On top of, when I do dive back, my head is looking towards that right field foul fence. So my head looks over here because if he overthrows the first baseman, when I'm looking and I dive back in, I can see it right away. So it's gonna make me quicker to push off my palm and hop up and go towards second. What a lot of kids do at a young age is they'll dive back and they'll look at the ball. Now they'll run a couple reasons why we don't wanna do that. Cause say he does miss it, that first baseman, and it can hit you in the face. Second reason, you're not gonna see that ball be overthrown, so you're gonna react later, which is gonna make you slower going towards second base, cause you're gonna have to hear your first base coach. So, when you dive in, right hand on the back part of the base, once you see it in that right field fence area, what you're gonna do is you're gonna push off your palms, pop up, turn and go. And that's how you dive back. I appreciate it, please subscribe, Diamond Training out.